Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now before we get into today's video, it's only right that I say, a blwydd yn newydd dda i chi gyd. Happy New Year to you all. Now today's video is called The Importance of Testing. It's about the health of the pigeons. Now as many people have said, in pigeon racing like in lots of other facets of life, health is wealth. It's really important in pigeons that you keep your birds healthy because you can have the best pigeons in the world, you can have the best management, you can use the best feed, you can use the best supplements. If your pigeons are not healthy, you are not going to achieve top results. And it's something we think is very, very important. We get our birds tested four, five, even six times per season, just to make sure that everything is right in the loft. Now we paired up a little bit earlier this year than in previous years. We're back in lockdown in the UK. I've got lockdown here going on, hence the hat. So we thought we'd pair the birds up just to give us something to do um, a little bit earlier than normal. And that's what we're going to have a look at in today's video. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome back to the Loft, of course. Today is Monday the 21st of December. And for the first time in a number of years, we're going to start winter breeding, hopefully within the next week. So there's our hens. We've shown you them, of course, many times before. Cocks next door. And again, as we've sort of mentioned a few times, we've kept the the breeding birds um, in the aviaries this year. Um, solid roof, of course. But, um, yeah, they're open to the elements. And um, as you can see, they've had a pretty good moat. Uh, all moated through now, of course. And... Um, yeah, looking good and in pretty good health. So, as we said, we hope to pair up between Christmas and New Year. Um, now, before we do that, we're going to get the birds tested. Now, we don't treat the birds at all during the winter. I know many fanciers um, vaccinate for sort of herpes virus and um, salmonella and things like that. We, 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 we've never have and... Um, as, long as, as long as the birds stay clear of it, we probably never will. So all we're going to do, we haven't treated them for canker, we haven't wormed them, we haven't done anything this winter. So all we're going to do is we're going to send a test kit off. As you can see, this is a an old weed test kit that we've got. We're actually using the Pigeon Testing Centre. So shout out to the girls at at the Pigeon Testing Centre in Colchester. Um, so we're going to do a drop-in sample in year very shortly. And then we're going to do a swab sample. Send it off to the girls, record a delivery. Hopefully then they'll have it tomorrow and then we'll have our results back before Christmas and as long as everything's clear, we'll hopefully pair the birds up. Even if they've got some, you know, slight sort of fungus sort of problem or canker or anything, we've got plenty of treatment here. Uh, we always keep, um, just show you a cupboard. We always keep a, cu a cupboard full of medicines, which we, uh, which like I said, we haven't used, but um, they're always there just in case. We do use them uh, during the racing season, but before in the winter we like to keep the birds as natural as possible so yeah so that's today's task and um, yeah and as long as it comes back okay we're then going to pair the birds up the only thing that we do give which isn't a medicine in, in any shape but the only thing that we do give is cider vinegar and garlic in the water twice a week so there's our cider vinegar uh, from hilton's herbs we've showed you that before of course but um the only thing that we do use, like I said, is that um, twice a week. So, as long as the old clear is given, then we're going to pair the birds up. So, today's other task, we've cleaned all the stock loft out, or the breeding loft, whatever you want to call it. So, today's task is just to uh, disinfect all the walls using Jay's fluid um, and Vikeel we've got as well. So, yeah, we're going to get all looking spick and span, and then we'll reintroduce the cocks this week. And then pair up very soon. So that's it for today's update. We'll be back maybe in a week or so um, when we'll show you how we're going to pair the birds up for 2021. Ciao for now.
Hello, here we are, back at the loft. Today's Boxing Day here in Wales, December the 26th. Um, yeah, just a little update now on the on the breeding. Um, so we just put the birds together this morning, just finished sort of 10 minutes ago, so we'll show you the, the couples in a moment. Uh, but as you can see, we've got two products out, two, um, two brands or, or two forms of medication. We had the test results back, and whilst on the whole they were, they were very positive, uh, Lisa at Pigeon Testing Centre said that they were showing a small amount of canker and coccidiosis. Now, I'm no vet myself, but from what I've been told, uh, coccidiosis is kind of like a, a secondary sort of, not so much infection, but it comes alongside another disease. So if one thing, if something flares up, one sort of disease flares up, then the coxy count goes up again, um, or at the same time, I suppose. So what we're going to do is we've, we've been treating them now the last couple of days with Bengaroni from Bel uh, Belgica de, de Weird, which is a Ronidazole based product, I believe, for canker. And then once that's finished, then we're going to treat them for three days with BS, which is a treatment again from Belgica de Weird, which is for canker and coccidiosis. Um, I think hexamatitis as well at the same time. So that's the way we do it here, as we said in the last little clip. We think the best way to do it is to test first and then treat afterwards. Um, like I said, we can probably count on the, on one hand how many times we treat during the season just because we test them beforehand. We do, we do like to blind treat. So in the stock loft, we have done it slightly earlier this year. Reason being, as we probably said in the last clip, uh, we've gone into a sort of semi-lockdown year in Wales again. So there's not an awful lot to do in life in general. And uh, we've got a few young birds ordered. So we thought to get it around for ourselves beforehand before, before that takes over. So... There's the pair, so there's Gaviria. Uh, we've talked about him in previous videos. Seven times first club, three times second Ronda Valley Federation. Paired then to a Benny Stevening Ken, we call her the Benny Hen. I'm no expert on the Stevening birds, but she's a sister, I believe, to Daguerre. Um, she's bred from a, I believe, a brother of Chippo. So the chipo lines are quite prominent in here. We've had lots of good pigeons out of here. Um, so, yeah, that's that pit. Then we've got Jeff. We've showed you Jeff in previous videos. G. Priestenson paired on to a daughter of George of Jeff Cooper. So they're our long distance hopefuls, I suppose. Up the top here then, there's the old random view cog, Yorath as we call him. Paired to, we call her the 27 hen. Um, she was the mother of our highest national winner this year, daughter of our pre olympic cock. Very good racing hen herself, and has now proven her worth as a breeder. So there's old Yoreth, he's 15 this year, but as you can see, looking sprightly as ever, love him. Next section. As you'd probably have worked out by counting, we've got eight pairs this year, eight breeding pairs. Down the bottom, there's Daisy Rose. Two times first Welsh combine for us. And she's paid to a cock that we've had off Derek Nichols, um, who is a son of Super Herman's, so half brother, I believe, to Supersonic Mike. That's a, a line we've done quite well with. And we've had some nice young birds off this pair in the past. We've only probably bred maybe four young uns off, off this cock. We've used him mostly as a feeder, but he's we had a lovely we got a lovely two-year-old hen in the race team this year from this pair, so we thought we'd try them again. So they're looking well. There's the 21 hen, first federation Swindon for us as a young bird, very, very good racing hen since, always thereabouts, taking many, many club positions, and she's paired to, as we've shown you in the previous video, currently Maxon, who was the bird who performed pretty well in the one loft race for us this year up in the Algarve, so he's home, and he's paired up to her. At the top, half brother, or full brother, sorry, to Daisy Rose. Uh, the 69 cock, again, we've used him mostly as a feeder, haven't taken many off him, but um, he's paid on to a sister of Big Head this year. She's bred us several good birds, Mother of Gaviria, as we showed in the last little section. Also a pigeon we called Penguin, who had three uh, channel wins um, from Belgium for us, well, France and Belgium. So that's that pair. And then the final section... Top box here, we got the 33 cock as we call him. There he is, wasn't a great racer himself, but bred us several good uh, young birds, so we put him into the breeding loft last year. And he's paired to a full sister to Daisy Rose, 
who was the mother of our Hythe National winner from 2019. Quite excited about this pair. And then finally, the gold mine pair at the bottom. Parents to four times first national. This pair, uh, absolute gold mine in the, in the gold, gold ring races. That's the Miss Tweedy hen, as we call her. And that's our G, our pre Olympic cock. So we're hopeful, she's 12 this year. We're hopeful we can get some young birds out of her early on to put the gold rings on. And in fact, I'm not sure if there's a gold race, ring this year, but um, certainly we'll be looking for them in, in the September races in 2021. So there we are. So we're all paired up. Things are looking good. And certainly for the next few weeks, it'll give us something to do and something to get up for in the mornings here in Wales. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Hello, here we are, back at the loft. It's been 10 days now since we last filmed, and um, yeah, we'll just have a little look inside the stock loft, see how things are progressing. There's the cocks, as you can see, the, the loft's looking a little bit more lived in since we last filmed. But there we are, such is life. So, we've had, we put eight pairs down, you might remember from the last video, and we've had seven pairs that have laid up so far, and things have gone pretty well. Unfortunately, we've had a little bit of fighting in this section between the cock you see there, the 33 cock, and the pre-Olympic cock down below. So if you're a, a new or inexperienced fancy yet, and your birds are fighting when you pair them up, don't worry, it happens to us all. So they've all laid, laid lovely. Um, like I said, just the one pair we went into lay on, and we got one or well, a few pairs that have laid second eggs. A couple of a couple of hens laid after eight, well, seven days and eight days. So they've obviously laid their second eggs this evening. So there we are. As you can see, they're looking pretty happy. There's the old cock, old Yoreth. He's paired to the mother of our national winner from 2020, the 27. Then this is the only pair we're waiting for. On the bottom box here, and it's Gaviria, and we were actually looking forward to our, his young birds this year because it's his first year in the breeding loft, and he's paired there to the Stevan again, the Benny Stevan again. But she is looking quite eggy, I would say. So hopefully, within a day or two, she'll have laid up as well. So that's where we are at the moment. This video course is called the importance of, of testing your birds, and we're certainly glad that uh, the birds were in. In good health after we treated them um, after the, the little problem was found um, so yeah the importance of testing can't be underestimated so as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time and hopefully we'll have some young birds to report on bye for now